Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here, also known as, drum roll please, the toilet paper tablet guy. Of all of the hours I've invested in this channel, of all of the in-depth, critical, social analysis, uh, discussions about emergency preparedness, all of the novel gear reviews I've done, I'm known as the toilet paper tablet guy. It's not something that's going to get you a date. It's not going to get you all the ladies. Believe me, I've tried. It doesn't work. But what it will do is it will pay your mortgage. So what I've decided to do is embrace this toilet paper persona. I might as well milk it if I'm here anyways. And I got to be honest about something. I have now migrated from the toilet paper tablets. Toilet paper tablets are 2016. All right. Not a lot of us have time anymore. We got places to be, we got people to see. People are infatuated with these things because of the tablet issue, and it's fun. But uh, these are old school. We got these in all kinds of denominations. This is the all-American toilet paper tablet. Everything's bigger and badder in the United States of America. Well, I'm in Canada, the United States of Canada. We don't have time in our modern age to piss around and be all particular with her little snowflake princess fingers. So this is what you need. No water. You know, one of these things is going to get the job done. These are used actually in old folks homes. Okay. This is what I use now all the time. I don't use the toilet paper tablets, maybe because I have boxes upon boxes of these things. It just makes much more sense. They come in packs of 20 compared to these, which come in packs of 100. This is the same price as this. I'm thinking there may even be more like uh, weight to this overall weight, but uh, it feels heavier. So I think you actually get more cloth with this because one of these cloths is probably about eight, probably about eight of those smaller ones. And I think it's a little bit thicker too. Very strong material. One of these, if you can't get the job done with one of these, then you need to check your diet, man, or your butt's too big or something. I know a lot of people, a lot of these little tinker bells on that video complaining that, oh, you know, I could see little holes in there and I might get some on my hand and blah, blah, blah. This is the thing. Have you ever looked at toilet paper when it's wet? Do you realize how fine that is and how easy it is for stuff to come through the toilet paper? So this is like incredibly strong stuff. This is way stronger than paper towel, okay? Never mind toilet paper. So you think toilet paper is all the rage because you're using massive wads of the stuff. This is gonna get the job done. You fold it once like that, you fold it again, you go to work and you get her done. You get her done fast, the all American way, because you have things to do. You have selfies to take. You have self-indulgent activities to pursue before the world goes to hell in a handbasket, which it pretty much already has. 25% of you probably came through that video. Already 30,000 people have left the channel. Actually, I think it's more like 50,000 people have unsubscribed, some accidentally, some because they clicked on the toilet paper tablet video thinking that that's all I would make into perpetuity, just talking endlessly about all the new variations and colors and flavors of toilet paper tablets. But unfortunately, and fortunately for those who care, I have a wealth of other great content on this channel. At least I think it's great. Let's just say it's worth watching. What we are preparing for is this in a nutshell. If I had to explain it, you know, do the elevator pitch to somebody would be like this. Were there ever a regional, national or international disaster scenario? There's going to be a lot of you who don't make it because quite frankly, most of us, 90% of us, 99% of us have been completely domesticated and totally rely on technology for our survival. Very few of us, even the homesteaders amongst us, are actually ready to endure a very long term grid down scenario. This could happen in a variety of ways. Pandemic, regional disasters, earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, dare I say, climate change, economic disaster, World War Three, high altitude electromagnetic pulse detonations, cyber attack against the electric grid, maybe 50, 100 years from now, worldwide takeover by artificial intelligence and robots could happen. The fact is, most of you will not make it. If you took off all your clothes right now, and you walked outside, uh, depending on which part of the world you live in, you probably wouldn't last the night, 
but many of you wouldn't last within a week and sure as hell, probably none of you would last three months if that's all you had to survive. An animal can do that. We have evolved 10,000 years to be a part of this massive incubator that we call the metropolis or cities, these human hives, if you will. And without them, we are naked and afraid, very afraid. And some people fantasize because they see Bear grills about what they're going to do, but they've never actually put that into practice. Maybe you've went camping at some roadside attraction national park where the firewood is chopped for you and uh, the park warden makes sure all the bears are kept at bay and all the bears are collared and tracked by a GPS and can only have your fire in you know, one part and you have a nice cleared uh, gravel place to put your tent down or your 30 foot RV or whatever it is. That's what most of you experience roughing it as. And this is why the toilet paper tablet generation is doomed to fall really hard on its face uh, when crap hits the fan much more than many other countries throughout the world who are, you know, constantly in a state of struggle. They're living at maybe a 60s, 70s, 80s level of development. If that, when things were tough, when people had to be tough, when they're, you know, people didn't have helmets and all these different seat belts and safety mechanisms to keep them safe and so they didn't have to use their common sense. They didn't have GPS, uh, you know, they had to actually remember certain things. They had to know how to read people on the street. They couldn't just passively, aggressively vent their emotions over the internet. They actually had to have some agency over our lives. So this is why you should be a prepper. I know this is already a long-winded elevator pitch and many of you have gotten off the elevator already, but for those of you who are still here, go and check out some of my other videos and some of the related channels if you go to my homepage. Uh, they will, those portals will take you into the universe of emergency preparedness. And hopefully you'll realize that there's nothing wrong with having a bit of personal responsibility and having some insurance just in case the proverbial shit hits the fan in the same way you have your insurance if the actual shit hits the you know what all right one more thing to add to the pitch is that people who say oh you shouldn't concern yourself with that you should go out and live life well what is living life is living life going watching mind-numbing sports which waste copious amounts of money on these massive stadiums that could be used all that material could be used to build space stations and literally uh just transform the human race in ways that are, you know, exceed our wildest dreams. The hundreds of not thousands of gigantic stadiums that people file into and exhaust their brain capacity on daily in this world. If that was actually put to good use, we would be much farther ahead. It's okay to do that, which I'm not saying it isn't okay. I'm saying it kind of sucks that it is, but it's okay with me. It's a free world. We make our decisions and we are fastly approaching the wall that we're gonna hit. The other thing is, is that you get fire insurance, you get car insurance, you get uh, theft insurance, you get life insurance. Why not have some prep insurance? This thing that we live in, this big giant incubator, the cities, the lights, the police, all that stuff, it's not God given. It works because we have a system, but the system could and very likely will break down. Whether it's a quick breakdown or a gradual one, is unknown, but all things tend to fall apart. That's the principle of entropy. That's all I have to say about that. Anyways, back to unicorns, rainbows, sunshine, and lollipops, and all that other mind-numbing distractions. Here you go, yay. And I figure, you know, I'm gonna capitalize on this. Why not? If, if YouTube wants me to be the poster boy for the pre-apocalyptic toilet paper tablet fad, then hell. Why not? Why not milk it, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.